thank him wholly and from within myself that he has given me something through my pastor. My Lord, my Lord. That I can use whenever the opportunity arises. My Lord, okay, all right. Father God, I thank you now. Thank you, Lord, for blessing me. I also thank you, Lord, for my mission as a whole. But most of all, I thank you for the great teacher which you put in front of me. I thank you, Lord, that the word comes forth with some real meaning and the teachings are true. Thank you, God, that I'm able to listen and take from this word which is provided for me that which you will have me say and do. For it is your word that is full of the blessings. And it's you who cause the blessings to come true. Lord God, I thank you for my wife, for my family members, for my church members, for the body at hand here at Macedonia. I thank you, Lord. For we are all in this house fellowshiping together. And Lord, on this 101th anniversary of this church, we thank you, O God, that you have allowed us to stand and continue to stand in your most holy name. We ask blessings now upon me and your servant. As I speak your word, please step in front of me as you always do. And when the word is spoken, let it be you, O God, that comes forth. Yeah. Bless now the Bless. tongue of mine. Yes. For it is something that you have the control over. Yeah. And I thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Jesus. Amen. Yeah. Good evening. Yes. It is another blessed day and I am happy. Yes. Happy because God has given it to me. Yes. How about you? Yes. Didn't you give it to you? life first and when it comes to you from him that's just be thankful and that he has blessed you with something good for God himself is all good therefore there is nothing we can say or do that can change that good is that not right all right now I chose the scripture Matthew chapter 3 it's before your church theme uh -huh. Slightly before when Jesus was wrapping up his early beginning and about to have his 30th birthday. Uh -huh. And you know, when you have a birthday, it's time to have a party, isn't it? I mean, he had to come from somewhere to get somewhere. He stepped out of heaven onto this earth in the flesh. And he walked on this earth and preaching the word of God. Renewing the minds of those of old who had studied nothing but the law so that they can understand what the law is, not what they thought it was. See, Jesus came to fulfill what? The law. And he done it in such a manner that the world itself at that time had no choice but to listen. Be thankful that God sent his son. Look at my verses here that I've chosen for today. And if I might just choose a subject, I'm just simply going to say the eyes have. You know, I. I wish I could. I know I could. I know I can. The eyes have. I am who I say I am. God is who he said he is. Jesus says I am. That I am. And you know, when God says it, it's part of Jesus anyway. So it's time for us to understand this day that everything that God said, Jesus brought into realization. He renewed the thought. He allowed the people to learn and think for themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he taught them in such a manner that no one was done. That's right. That's huh? That's right. he, he stood to the level where he had to go to make sure that who was there understood where he was coming from. So they can be elevated, not stepped up. 
See, he came to lift us up. The poor, the rich, and the ugly, as they say. But God is in control of all of this. So we don't have nothing to do about it. Not a thing. In those days, starting with chapter 3 and verse 1. In those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea, and saying, Repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. For this is he that was spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. Make his path straight. My instructions weren't there. Yeah, yeah. Listen to the man in the wilderness. He's opening the ears of those who really came to hear about God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's setting him up for a new beginning. My Lord. Right there in the river Jordan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's opening the minds of them that had been sitting on the wayside and had been baptized, of course. There were some on the wayside that had not been baptized. Yes. But yet they were about to witness the new beginning, oh, the no. baptism of Jesus Christ. Right. Now we, 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 we know what the foundation was all about. It was about Jesus. Yeah. But you know, we can talk about that foundation, but you gotta have a beginning. Right. And here we have on and in front of us a beginning of a foundation which is yet living the organism of Christ it is living the third verse was that which was brought out of Isaiah talking about the voice telling them about the crying in the wilderness now when you get in the wilderness you gotta, you gotta realize that John was almost accused of being crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, 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 he's out there dressed in the wilderness yeah, yeah. in this camel's head. Uh -huh. huh? yeah, he, yeah. He, he's choking himself off from the rest of the world, but he's so indifferent from the people that are around him. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yet he has the attention of God's children. Yeah, yeah. And, and as he brings them closer and closer to the Father, well, well, he well. looks at them and says, Repent ye, yeah, yeah, yeah. for the kingdom of God is yeah. at hand. Oh, Chuck off that talk that you've been doing. Yeah. Change the lifestyle that you've been living. Yeah. For God's kingdom is in the now, the present. Yeah. It is he yeah. that is going to do something to help us with our problems here on the earth. Yes, yes. Look at what God does in verse 4. He, he, uh, and the same John, they say, had his raiment of camel's hair and a leather, leather and girdle about his bones. And his meat was locusts and wild honey. Will you try locusts and wild honey today? Come on, it's a delicacy. It's a very expensive. But I'm going to tell you something. They, that's why they tried to call him crazy. He was out there living in this wilderness and eating things of wild. Now, when you eat things of wild, sometimes it goes to your head. You know how that cow does, huh? You heard about that cow disease? Uh, and when he get the bad cow, it messes up the mind. Yeah. But nothing was going to mess with John's mind. He was placed there in the wilderness by God himself. Yeah, yeah. And as he was being placed in that wilderness, things started to come to him from God. Well. For he was born for a purpose. And the purpose was to be the forerunner for the son of the living God. I love, I love, I love. Here we are today understanding that the living God uh, has done something again for us. But yet we look at it as if it was nothing. But the living son of the living God died for us. He choked off himself from the living aspect. He went to heaven just to get back to his father to regain his place in heaven. But he did not forsake us. 